So if you have Flickr in your image created by the lights, you are in the right place because today I'm here to teach you how to remove that flickering from your video clips. So I decided to create this video because a viewer of mine, Murray, asked me if I could help him to remove uh, some flickering of an interview that he made. And unfortunately, I couldn't help him because I was out for work. And when I reached to him, he said that he already had the problem solved. But I decided to create this video anyway, because now I can help you to remove the flickering from your clip. So let's jump in the computer and let me show you how easy it is to remove the flickering. So let's go. So here we are in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve and I already have here a, a clip with some flicker. I don't know if this will give me a problem because I downloaded this from the internet and I don't know if there's a problem with that. But to be safer, I add some effect here to hide the skateboarder. So I hope this won't give me any problem. So let's play this. And as you can see, we have a lot of flickering over here in the wall, especially in the wall. So you can try to remove it here in the edit page using the deflicker. The deflicker is here in the open effects and you just have to type deflicker and drag it over your clip and come here to the effects and see without doing anything, try and see it. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit better, but over here, you still have some flickering over here. If that happens, you can adjust here, come, instead of time-lapse change to um, fluor lights if, and test it. So try to see, but here you still have it. So you can come here and go to the advanced controls and mess with the, the frames either side too. And you can see it's a little bit better, but you still have it here. You can go to three, let's test this. And it's even better, but here is difficult to know. Normally what's best for me is come here and type it none and even this way, it will still have some here that it's manageable, but I like to clean everything. So what I do, I remove the effect here in the edit page and I go to the color page. You can also do it in the fusion page. And I think in the fusion page, it works a little bit better. The, the flicker is a little bit better, but it's harder for the computer. You have to wait until it renders and all of that. So that's why I prefer to do it in the color page. So come here to the color page. I will add two more nodes. I will explain you why these three nodes. So I go to the first node over here and add the, the flicker over here and put it over here. And I, I change it to advanced here. I change it to none and I test it here. Let's see. So it comes and in here, you still have a little bit like in the edit page. So what I do next, it's very easy. You come to the second node, add another deflicker, do exactly the same, go to the advanced key none, but here in the frames, put just one. And for me, I noticed that it removes all the flicker from the image. Now you can notice that it's very, very clean. You don't have any flicker, especially in this bright area. So it cleans everything. But in here, it creates some strange artifacts here in these pipes and this. Look, if I remove it, it you can notice that is a little bit different. So to avoid those strange movements. I come here to the third node and in this one, I will add some motion blur and put it over here. I will change it to better. And normally I will come here between 10 and 20. For me, I've seen it, that it's more than enough. You can, of course, test it with your own values. And I don't change, I don't come here. I, I don't change anything. And if I play it now, it's better because you don't have that strange movements in the pipes. And now 
it's done if you come here to the edit page now it's perfectly clean you don't have any flicker here in the wall as you can see and you can add other effects of course you can add some grain and all that to try to reduce the effect to the max but as i said you can also do it here in the fusion page so let me come to the color page and disable all this go to the fusion page and here in the fusion page you just have shift space and add some the, the flicker add it over here do exactly the same advanced controls and normally like this and if i play it let's see I think here, as I said, it works a little bit better because I noticed that over here, I almost don't have any flickering, but if you still have it, you can do the same. You can copy this node and paste it and in here, change it to just one. And now you don't have any flicker, but over here, you still have that uh, strange effects here. You can add the motion blur also in here. So motion blur and add it and come here to the scale and resize this to 0 0.2 or some. You have to look for the best value for you. But in my case, I can see that this is the one that's working better. And as you see, it's a little bit more harder for the computers. Now, if you go to the edit page, we have to wait for it to render the cache and all of that. Because if I play it, you can see that it's struggling a little bit. And I have a, a, a good uh, video card, so I have a 4080, so it's a very good. But I noticed that in here, it works a little bit better but it's harder for the computer so let me play it a little bit as you can see it's already finished almost rendered but there you have it you can remove it but you have to pay attention when you are shooting because you have to avoid the flicker in your camera not in post but if you can avoid it now you know how to remove it Probably there are a lot of other ways to remove it, but this is the way that I found that works for me and I'm here to share it with you. So as you could see, it's very easy. Probably you have to do multiple passes to remove all the flicker and do all that stuff. But the important is that you can remove the flickering from your clips. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, Hit that like button, that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And hit that notification bell to be notified next time I launch a video. Until then, bye.